Regarding the gender pay gap, Austria uh, has got the fourth last position in the European comparison. Uh, currently, females earn 20% less on average than their male colleagues do. The gender pay gap in the Czech Republic is very high. In uh, European comparison, is the second highest. Uh, it's been like that for uh, some time already. It's a constant number. Uh, right now we are talking about 21.8%. Uh, companies should care about equal opportunities because there is actually a very strong business case behind that. More than 50% of the educated uh, workforce is currently female and it just makes sense for companies to tap into that talent market. This high gender pay gap we have in the Czech Republic, uh, first of all, because of uh, very high numbers of segregation at the labor market, women and men basically take different career paths. If companies care uh, and they want to make uh, equal opportunities uh, an actual business case within their company, they first of all have to ensure that it's a strategic priority, they have to ensure that uh, top management is sponsoring this initiative, they have to make sure that the business case behind it is clear and strongly communicated within the company and they have to identify KPIs on which basis they measure success regarding equal opportunities. First of all, the state uh, has to map the situation uh, because there are studies done here and there, but uh, what is happening right now is that we are running a project called 22% towards uh, equality. And uh, this, this project's role is basically to set standards how we look at the gender pay gap and to map the situation in terms of statistics and causes and uh, also solutions. The most innovative approach Austria has taken is that um, I would say companies are very much aware that uh, unequal opportunities exist, but what has happened in Austria is that uh, public institutions are funding consulting programs that help companies that are willing to resolve the gender issue uh, to offer them a free of charge consulting service. My strong opinion is that uh, we can only solve it when uh, the business sector and the state and plus also individual women and the trade unions are working all together and put solutions on the table which are negotiated and which are viable.